before we start. Find the link for this image below. It's completely free so you can color along. Hi, it's Dia. Today is day three of 12 Days of Christmas Color Along. Today I'm gonna to be using this set of 72 Arteza Premium Colored Pencils. Today we'll be coloring the little Lord a-leaping, who is leaping over that poor little drummer's drum who rolled away, and he is happy to find it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is color his skin. I chose a warm kind of cocoa brown for his skin because I'm going to be coloring his tights as if he were a real ballet dancer. So I wanna make them light colored. So I wanted to make his skin a little bit darker to show off his tights. So the first color I would say is a warm cocoa brown. You can pick from any set. This happens to be our Arteza, but it really doesn't matter what set you choose. And just like the Piper piping, I'm gonna add some flush to his cheeks because he's active, he's outside. And I lightly, well, I started to do the flush and then I thought I probably should first put a layer down of his skin so I lightly went over this, uh, the whole area with the cocoa brown. And then I picked this sort of darkish coral color and I went above his little nose, under his cheeks, and out toward his ear. Now I, I put several, I'm going to put down several layers. I'm speeding this up a little bit um, because it's sort of similar to the previous video where I did the Piper's face. And if you wanna see that, I will link that below. Um, and then I went over the top with that same cocoa brown. And then I went over it with a light flesh tone just to blend. And actually I was really happy that I did that because I it gave it sort of like a, a warmish, rich tone, especially in the front of the face where I thought the sun would be. And that's kind of, um, that's kind of important. You don't want the whole face to look flat and if you do it in one color only, it's just gonna look, well, not only flat, but not head shaped. So you wanna put a little bit darker around the perimeter and make it a little bit lighter where the highlights would be or the sun would shine. That's that same cocoa brown. I'm going around his nose a little bit just to give his face a little bit of dimension. Since we're coloring a boy who does ballet here, a little Lord of Leaping, I thought that I would talk a little bit about ballet. I don't know if I ever mentioned this before, but when I was a girl, I, taught, I, I took ballet for years and I was obsessed with Tchaikovsky and the Nutcracker. The Nutcracker is the story of a girl named Clara who is given a wooden nutcracker as a Christmas present from a mysterious man named Dr. Drosselmeyer. Her parents have a party that night, and when she falls asleep, uh, she is frightened in her dream by a giant mouse. In fact, a bunch of giant mice. They try to attack her, but her nutcracker forms an army of her toys and battles the king mouse, and he turns into a prince. Then he and Clara take an enchanted journey on a sleigh to the Kingdom of Sweets. They travel over the Lemonade Sea and meet the Sugar Plum Fairy, and she sleeps again, and when she wakes in her bed, she is greeted by the Nutcracker Prince. And the song you hear in the background is the Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. Oh, and I just want to go back to coloring for a minute. I want to keep his outfit light, like I said. so. Uh, this is a light, almost periwinkle color, and all I'm really doing here is showing indications of shadow. I try to keep it very light uh, to highlight his 
just his form a little bit and the nice color of his skin. So the blue, although it's very light, is just a slight indication of a bend in the cloth or a little bit of a wrinkle. Since I already started the other images where the sun or the light source would be from the left, I took a, a sort of a light yellowy weed color and I put a little bit of golden highlights on the opposite sides of where there would be a little bit of shadows just to indicate that he might be outside dancing in the sunshine. And for his crown, well, maybe he's the Nutcracker Prince, even though he's actually supposed to be Lord of Leaping. For this, for this little segment, we can imagine that he's the Nutcracker Prince. So I took a brown, and I just wanted to make his crown, although it's very simple, I wanted it to look like it was actually gold. So I took the, the darkest brown, and I put it on the on the edge, the the right edge of the crown, because that's where the most shadow would would be. And in the two areas of the crown where it would be a little bit dipped in. So it I sort of envisioned it to be almost scalloped looking in shape. So I didn't really push too hard because you only want an indication of the shadow. Then I took that uh, bright yellowy gold color and went right over the top of the brown and spread it out to the left a little bit. And then I goofed. I took a yellow color, which I thought would be a lighter color um, because I wanted it to be the brightest part of the crown, but it, it the, the, the tone of the yellow pretty much ended up to be the same and it looked a little bit flat so you can see right there it's not the end of the world but it's not as detailed as I thought so I made the I mean the brown parts a little bit darker and then I decided I would go in with a little bit of a little bit more orange it's, it's more like cantaloupe actually and then that sort of evened it out a little bit and made the right hand side a little bit more in the shadow and the left hand side of the crown a little bit more um, highlighted and in the light source. I, I made this a little bit faster uh, just because all I'm doing really is blending those colors that I already laid down. The shirt is very simple because I kind of envisioned it to be white. And then I'm kind of fussing again. I'm going back uh, with the brown again, making the underneath of his arms a little darker, the underneath of his face, and the areas that would be in the shadow a little bit more in the shadow. I also wanted to make his skin a slight bit darker because I don't know if everything in the background is going to be green or white or I, and I didn't want all of the figures to be in the same tonal range. Oh, now we're doing some hair. Um, I thought his hair would look nice in a nice, I envisioned it sort of like shiny brown. So I kind of followed the lines that were already there and left a few highlights where I thought the light source would hit. It looks a little bit messy right now. That's another one of those moments where if you stopped right now, it looks so bad. But then if you just work on it a few more minutes, it looks pretty good. Since he's got the impression or you have the we have the impression that he's jumping through the air I thought his hair would be sort of flying free in the background oh right there see where I left it light you don't have to fill in every space um I just thought that's where the light would be so I just I, I just left it white and underneath I made a little I put a little bit of a mustard color because maybe his hair would look blondish or lighter but not completely 
in that white highlighty glow. Now, I drew his legs pretty straight. So I thought it would be interesting to just take that same blue and just give indications of where his muscles would be. And I'm not saying I'm trying to make him look like a muscular, strong dancer, but we all have a shape to our bodies. And that's kind of where his thigh would, would be bending at the hip. And right in about the middle area would be the space where his knee is, that area that I was just working on. And at the bottom, I cut off what I would consider his tights. Oh, I'm at the knee again. I'm just sort of making like a little rounded area and sort of those like little dimply indents where our knees would normally um, have all those curves and shapes. So rather than just making him all in tights, I thought it would be cute to have some of his skin show at the bottom. So he has, in my head, white ballet shoes on also. And there is some of his skin showing through at the bottom of the tights and at the top of his feet. Then I just went back and forth making those shadow areas a little bit darker. Everything at the bottom area of, of his leaping legs would be a little bit darker than the top of the leaping legs. And once again, white can be confusing because you think it's just white, but there's more detail to it. Oh, now I wanna make his ribbons red. So I started out with, it's almost an orangey red, and I just, covered the whole ribbon very lightly, and that's gonna be the lightest part of the ribbon, including the highlights. After I did this, I thought, you know, I could have, I could have put some of the, put some white, um, either pen on the highlights or gone over it with an electric Sakura eraser. Um, but I thought it would be kind of interesting just to leave it the way it is and do it with just pencils. When I first started to draw everything that I thought should be in highlight, I put either white pencil or white chalk or a, um, a highlighter. And after a while I learned, oh, I'm just blending all that right now with the Arteza white. You can't really tell that much of a difference right now, but you'll see that the darker areas sort of look like the ribbon is dipping in, and then the lighter areas sort of look like it's popping out. So yeah, after a while I learned that you can um, make things look dimensional without using an extra highlighter or a white paint or a gel pen. And... Uh, I did it with the drum also. I made it sort of look concave. And I'll put the link to that video. That was day one of this little 12 Days of Christmas color along. So what I'm doing here is just choosing darker and darker reds and encroaching a little bit at a time on the highlight area. So the highlight area gets smaller and smaller and the darker, the darker the red, the more it looks like it's in a shadow. I took a little bit of orange here and went over into some of the highlight area just to give it some more interest because nothing's ever one color. And back to the Nutcracker for just two seconds. The original girl's name was Maria and it was much darker and actually known to be a little bit scary. But then when it was redone and uh, I guess updated, it was, it was made much more light and uplifting. And I know many people have seen it uh, at Radio City Music Hall. I know I have several, several times. And like I said, I was a little obsessed with Tchaikovsky as a kid and probably still am a little bit now. And uh, it's a beautiful ballet if you ever get a chance to see it.
So thank you for joining me during these 12 days of Christmas coloring. I'm having a really good time because it's only coloring a little bit at a time and that's right up my alley. It's perfect. I don't have to worry about doing the entire thing. And the videos are a little bit shorter. I think the first two were a little bit longer, but I kind of figured out how to how to make it nice and short. And I think there's gonna be one in there that might be a little bit longer as we do backgrounds and details, you know, some of the pairs and the bows and things like that. But uh, so far so good. I'm having a really good time. I, I hope you like this. Let me know what you think of this because I like coloring these little bits and pieces at, at a time. And uh, so tell me what you think because I could even do this again beyond Christmas, you know, color something over a couple of days. And what I'm doing in this image now, just getting back to the image, is I'm just blending things in. I'm doing the thing that I always do, is I just fuss around, I just uh, blend things in and make it look pretty because sort of the pressure's off at that, at that point. You kind of have an idea what everything's gonna look like. Oh, I just went, underneath some of the highlights and made it a little darker so it looks like his hair has more dimension. So, oh, I just put some details on his slippers and on his feet, put a little shadow underneath his shirt and underneath his legs, and that's about it. So thank you for joining me for our little Lord of Leaping. I hope you like this. I had a really good time drawing this little guy. And it was interesting to just draw something that was white, or color, I should say, something that was white. So tomorrow we'll be drawing the, the maid a milking. And I hope you join me tomorrow too. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're all well. Um, look below for all the links for all the items that I used. And the downloadable link. I'll see you soon. Bye.